Hello folks, welcome to the NetCruiser RC. We're going to do some VRC racing now that we're in a lockdown. My provincial area has gone into a full lockdown and some of the neighboring provinces as well. So none of the tracks in my area are going to be open for at least a month. So we'll be able to do some online VRC racing. We're going to check that out, see how it goes now. All right, here I am on my pit area in VRC. Now, now this series is actually gonna be a little bit different in that all the other ones that I showed previously, we were doing spec buggy, and that's what I currently have set up right now. But in the events, under this VRC Ontario, there's two winter series uh, on each track. There's going to be a spec buggy class and a modified buggy class. I think I'm going to be focusing on modified buggy because that opens up the full setup sheet so we'll be able to change motors and full setup and try and get the most out of it and uh, and then I'll maybe throw in a couple of comparisons to the default spec. With spec all you can really change is the body, the downforce and the steering angle of your front sweep. That's it. In, in modified it's wide open. So let's jump over to modified buggy and I have to try and set up my buggy. So, so I need to change my car. I'm currently on a spec car. I need to change this to a modified car. So I'm going to go to electric buggy. I'm going to start with the world setup and then we're going to change the setup from there. So this one has a 1900 kV motor, a Tekken RX-8 Gen 2, uh, Reedy 4S, Proline buggy body, wheels, buggy tire 1 which is softest and the aero speed, high speed downforce. So I'm just going to change some of my colors and some of my defaults. Okay, so if I jump in the setup sheet here, this is the world setup on a spec buggy. All of this I'm going to have to change. First, I'm going to look at some of what my friends sent me on uh, ideas for setups, and I'll start tweaking some things. All right, I received a recommended setup sheet from my friend, uh, Brian Nesbitt, so I'm going to uh, copy his setup. Just give me a starting point, because I need to move down to 28. 28. We're gonna to go to a stiffer spring and okay, steering 35, I want a 38. Ackerman position on the front. Toe and anti-squat, toe rod length 63.3, front toe out 3.5. How do I adjust that? Toe out minus two, five degree, one. 1.5 degree anti-squat, rear hub spacing forward one millimeter, front heavy. Weight bias, differential, 2,000, 6,000, center needs to be a little bit lighter at 6,000, and front a little bit lighter at 5,000. Transmission, whoa, he's geared right up. Really? Maximum gearing? A 1.5 drag. I'll try it. Lower arm angle, 2.3 degrees when it was at a 5.25 pound per inch spring. I go to the 5.96 pound per inch spring and uh, we're down to the one degree. So sorry, this was the front, this is the rear. So I'm on a, uh, a four on the rear and almost a six in the front. So a lot stiffer in the front. That's usually how you want a race car to be set up. And uh, I think we're close to being able to try this. And let me just make sure he's still on that motor. He went to a 2050 KV, but I'm gonna leave it on the 1900. Uh, Gen 2, he's on AKA Gridiron 2 soft wheels. I need to, I need to change my wheels, uh, wheels and tires. I still haven't quite found where you change tire. Like I go into wheels and tires, all I can change is the wheels. But when I choose a Proline wheel, then I seem to get a Proline tire. I'm on a blockade and I'm on tire compound one, which is soft. So I'm on a Proline blockade soft, which should be good. Let's just go out for a quick practice and just see how it does on the track with this. All right. Let's do it. Mostly changes were due to the springs and diff oils. Uh, other than that, a little bit more steering and let's go out, see how we do. Also max gearing. Let's just do a quick practice session. Practice just myself. And we'll see, let me move the transmitter in the view. I just wanted to have the transmitter in the shot as well, just so you could see some of my inputs at the same time. Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. This has to be on. Good start. See how this feels compared to what I'm used to. Because I did run a spec and a mod just based on the uh, normal. 
have to do oh it turns a lot better that's nice and he said hammer the jumps oh, okay hammer the oh just a little short i guess that's why you want the 2050 kv that's exactly probably that's probably exactly why you want the 2050 kv although i wonder if maybe by gearing down i would do better because i think i want more acceleration on this track it's really tight you don't really have much room to open it up my friends are telling me that I gotta hammer the jumps to be fast in this track, so we'll try that next lap around. I'm just doing open practice right now, just trying to learn how to run this track quicker. Whoops, that was totally wrong. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Hmm. Lap one, forty-two point. It's terrible. My best is around seconds. a thirty-five. Change the motor to the 2050. Okay. Can I clear the big jump? Welcome to this track. Enjoy your racing. Let's see if that 50 kV is all I need to clear the big jump. Or if I really need the, the gearing with it. Come down and then full throttle. Alright, if I had a better run at that, I would have made it for sure. So I'm going to give myself one more. Oh, I am at max pinion. Crap. I guess that's why I also need max pinion as well. Alright, related to tires, apparently I've been blind. So you go over to tire compound and then this is where your, your default is. But I hadn't noticed up at the very top here, you've got sticks, and sticks is where it sits at for spec. Go over to Proline, and then you can choose your blockade soft, blockade soft, and now we should be ready to go. Hole shots, ions, blockades. And in AKA, we have City Block, Gridiron 2, uh, and that's it. So we're going to do a blockade soft based on a recommendation from my friend, and we're going to say OK and save that setup. Okay, now I'm just doing some research and uh, watching some of the best drivers. I want to see how they're doing their qualifiers. So I did make it up into the A. I think I'm sitting in ninth in the A. So Bukar is doing, Andrew Bukar is definitely one of the faster people. Uh, just going to watch to see how he does, how he's doing all of his lines. If that thing goes away. I think he's just being a bit more committed. Wow, he went through that hoodie area beautifully. If you get that hoodie area wrong, you slip down that hill and you lose a good two or three seconds. It's a major mistake. Ooh, that was beautiful. Huge air, nice landing, tuck it in, and up the inside. Oh, there's a little jump on the inside. I usually go wide there to avoid that. All right, I've been practicing for a couple of hours. I've done two more official qualifiers. I'm getting faster. So my first one was a DNF. I canceled it. I didn't like it. Uh, second run was a seven laps and 413. Third run, third and fourth runs I did today since I've been recording this. I got a 405, seven laps, and then a 403. If I can cut off three seconds, which I know I can because my first lap, I was terrible. It was a 38 second lap. All I have to do is shave off three seconds, which I can definitely do. And then I can get up into the eight laps and get into this like upper eight of A main. Uh, so I'm going to do one more try and then I'll check in with where my final standings are. This will be my very last run remaining of this qualification round and then the mains will be on the weekend. Drive back to the pit uh, of Well, I didn't do it. So I had a really good run except for lap 7, which was my last lap. I got a 39.9 because of two mistakes. That was terrible. I was so close to making it up into eight laps. Just didn't do it. So, yeah. Your result is seven laps in four minutes and 7.01 seconds. Oh, I had such a good run until that last one. So yeah, look at this. Lap one, 32.8, 34.9, 33.2, 33.9, 37.2, 34.8, and then 39.9, which is my stinker of a last lap. 
I'm still holding on to position number nine in heat one, which is the A main, but uh, there's opportunity that these guys can punt me out. So Sean Breen has only done one out of five runs. Marc-Andre Lemieux has only done two out of five runs. Kevin Tyler's only done three out of five runs. So I'm going to get bumped out of the A. Anyway, uh, we'll come back. We'll do the mains later on. But uh, had fun enjoying this round of this track. This is the Neo 1 Open E-Buggy. Okay, this is Spec Buggy. I just ran through my last qualifier in Spec Buggy, and uh, here's my lap times. 35.3, 35.1, 39.5. That was a stinker with two marshals. 39.5, 36.2, 35.7, 34.4. So, yeah, that's Spec. I think I'm in 12th in Spec right now. Yeah, 12th. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. I will show you the mains when we get there.